Hi folks, my name is Scott Skipper, Recreation USA. Um, congratulations on your new purchase of your 2020 Grey Wolf 23 MK. Um, what I'm going to do is do a short version of uh, some of the characteristics of the camper. Give you a quick demo and then of course after the video if you have any questions about anything that we've went over please reach out to your salesperson they'll be glad to take care of it. Alright so what we're going to start off with first is once you disembark from the, the camper um, you got a power tongue jack that's going to help you lower and uh, raise this to get it on and off the truck conveniently it also has a little light if this jack was to ever malfunction it does have a manual override right here and you'll just lift this up and you'll look inside and there's a socket and you can conveniently just get an extension get the socket and you can manually override this jack uh, to go up and down if ever needed safety chains obviously when you're going to be needing to when you're pulling and a brake emergency brake release um, this is going to be connected in case this comes loose from your truck um, this will automatically engage and the brakes on the camper will lock up and stop the camper for you um, always make sure that is connected and then your seven-way power cord this is going to plug into the back of your uh, truck and it'll give power to the camper um, and as well as um, the brakes that are on the electric brakes that are on the camper um, that's pretty all simple you've got a uh, two propane tanks now inside is a regulator you can use it de depending on which tank if you want to use one or the other or both it's really um, a personal preference however um, some folks like to use one at a time uh, reason being is that they always have one and they can take the other one and go get it filled um, I and mean, they always will be with uh, propane um, the battery, battery box, you got the battery. And then what we're gonna do is just assume that you're arriving at the camp spot and what you're gonna do um, to hook up to get started and follow me this way. And we notice right here is pretty much the command center outside where you're gonna do all the hookups from the camp spot. So this yellow, power cord is detachable you will find that located in the front storage compartment that's where you would like to keep it and store it um, once you plug that power cord in this is a 30 amp circuit so make sure you're plugging into the correct breaker um, that being said once you have power to the unit um, you you can go inside real quick and just to check and make sure a uh, light or two is working that you are getting power and maybe you might want to turn on the air conditioner or the heat depending on the climate right now after that um, you also have your water hose just a drinking water hose is going to be all you would need and right here above this outdoor shower assembly we've got where you're going to hook that water right into city water um, it's going to fill up the coach for you and then you may want to go in and test and look at the sinks and make sure you didn't leave something on last time. Second to that, right beside it is your fresh water connection. This is for simply if you're boondocking. You can fill this coach up with a good bit of water. And for a few days, with the help of the water pump inside, which I'll show you where that feature is, it will pump water to uh, the sinks and wherever needed for boondocking. Otherwise, do not fill that up. It's not needed if you don't need it. You'll only be using the city water. Um, so we've got your power, your water, um, and then of course if you need the outdoor shower, we're just showing you this, and you can see, sorry, that it's working. And we turned on the hot water heater, it's on gas right now. So we'll give it a little bit of time to heat up for you in the gas mode. So not warm yet so we'll we'll check recheck that and once we know we've got hot water inside shortly okay so black tank flush this is going to be allowing you to flush out your sewer and waste so you can hook the hose up after you're um, done with the unit and it will allow you to flush this out you're going to need a sewer hose 
one hose, and then as you look down here, this is a, re a valve to release the contents. Now, this side is for your shower, the sink, water. You want to keep um, that can stay open. This one stays closed. Um, once this, you feel you, the contents are full, which inside there's an instrument panel, which will allow you to check the contents of that that holding tank. Um, once um, you open that up, release that, um, you can close it back off while you're camping, but then at the end of the camping trip, remember, you can open it up, close this one off, flush out those tanks, okay? Um, pretty simple. Again, if you have any questions, we're here for you. Just a phone call away. Um, when you go to winterize in this unit, there's going to be a low point drain right here. And the winterizing, just follow some YouTube instructions. They're pretty simple. Um, but all of this will allow you all the water in the unit to drain out in any compartment and it'll fall out under there. And underneath, you can't see it. You got to reach up under there and look, but there's a valve up under there that you'll need to attend to to get that water to um, run or shut off. Um, you're going to plug up your cable TV right here. And that'll, any inside where you want to plug in a TV on the outside, all of that's going to work once you plug in right here from the camp spot. And so you got your slide out. The, the button to operate that's going to be on the control panel inside. I'll show you that momentarily. Um, this one is equipped with a great option. Um, great that it already is on there, your slide toppers. It's extra protection for the slide out. Um, on the back um, comes with a handy storage compartment and real simple release the pins let it down you can stow your bikes whatever you want in tow um, really cool that this has this on it also up top it is prepped for a backup camera whether you do use one of them i do recommend them um, outside of that um, we're going to continue to check out the outside real quick. So you got a little outdoor kitchen area. Mini fridge. Rich, it is cold. I can tell it's cooling off. You got an outdoor shower. Here's some controls for it right here. So you got one on both sides, which is really neat. All right. Turn that there, so. All right, now, outdoor speakers. Now you want to hang a TV right here. Here's an option. Plug the TV in and your cable outlet. Set up camp right outside. Your speakers, outdoor speakers, your stereo has two zones. Their music's playing inside and outside right now. And you have uh, controls to adjust that um, to your needs. Um, this is a powered awning. I will be showing you how that works from the, um, the control panel inside. And uh, the awning does have an LED light strip. We'll show you how that works. And then right here on the front, your storage compartment. This is your crank. This is going to simply operate these jacks up and down. Put a nice firm board under each one of these to get a good leveling surface. Um, it's also um, solar ready. So you can just simply go and purchase um, aftermarket a solar panel. Um, they usually have a little kickstand on them, plug them in, and it should operate anything 12 volt in there in your coach. And uh, proceeding inside, now this is your um, fan for the in, the in the kitchen. So when you're gonna cook, you wanna open that up, but um, keep, it, keep it closed, that way no dirt daubers and things get inside of it but um, you want to make sure this is open if you're going to cook on that stove in there okay you do have the solid step feature so I'll show you how this is real simple and easy see how that works and it You'll hear it latch in and then just release that latch. And you also have the pet leash. We're pet friendly. Now, 
this also could be used for an ornery spouse or a friend that's getting out of hand. That being said, let's move on inside. Nice, comfortable jackknife couch. By simply just removing these, easy. It's equipped with the awesome zebra blinds. These are wonderful upgrades right here. We also have a dinette that will conform to a bed by simply removing the cushion, just twisting gently on these holes. They will be removed. This will fit right on these and then form the bed with the cushion and there you have a bed and then reverse it to the table for dining. Um, nice electric fireplace. Right now I don't have it on heat. Uh, we have the air running but I did test it for heat um, moments ago and it does work great. This is a great option because you're not having to run your furnace for birthday. Uh, here's your radio. You can hear the music playing inside and outside. So I can control the speakers inside and outside. Pretty easy. There's your TV. Mount for your TV. Again, this is the same mount that's outside. So if you want, you can move the TV to and from. There's all your connections. That station is on 1049 Bob at that. Okay, and so when you come in, you want to turn on the air conditioner. Here's your thermostat. The good news, this is going to work our heat and our air conditioning. So right now, we've got it set on 60, and as she'll pivot around when you come in, your air conditioner right now is where all the air is coming through these vents. But we suggest as soon as you arrive, your camper may be hot or stuffy. Um, right here, I've just opened this up, and they call it dump mode, where it will just fill this cab full of air fast. Once it gets to your comfort level, you just simply close it back, and it's going to force it through the top vent. Easy stuff. And as we continue on, uh, 